Hello. As we move into 2021, uh, this devotional is going to kind of be a personal confession. If you have heard this story before, feel free just to close your laptop, turn it off or whatever, and, and escape. But I'd like to tell you a little experience that I had when I was very young, and it, I was, uh, even though it was a really long time ago, I remember it very clearly. As many families have done, um, our family every summer would go to the beach. We always went uh, either to St. Petersburg, Florida, or to Panama City, Florida. And I think this was in St. Petersburg. Uh, and of course, as kids are, you know, you go to the beach every day. Uh, me and my brother and my sister, and of course, we would play out there on the sand all day long. Um, and have a wonderful time. It's interesting how kids are. They make friends so easily. And you always find somebody who you might meet and get to know. Some other kid who's playing on the beach. So there was this little girl and her brother who were there every day for several days. We saw them in a row. And, and they would come and they'd play and we'd build sand castles and, and all this stuff. I didn't know who she was. And she didn't know who I was. She didn't know my name. I didn't know her name or anything. My brother's name is Michael. His middle name is David. And my name is Gerald, as you know. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't like my name at all. I was kind of ashamed of it. I was embarrassed about the name Gerald. I didn't know anybody in the entire world, my little world, who had the name Gerald. Nobody called me Jerry. It's just been Gerald my whole life. And I did not like the name. I just didn't. So when this little girl came up to me after we'd been there a few days and said, what's your name? I froze. I, I really wasn't sure what to say. And then it occurred to me, lie, give her a different name. So my brother's standing right next to me and I chose my brother's middle name to tell her. I said, my name is David. Well. I'm two years older than my brother. I was six years old probably at the time. And my brother just shook his head no. Shook his head, shook his head. I knew I had lied. She didn't ask me any other questions. And so uh, we went on playing. And I felt guilty after that. And we went back to the hotel room. I felt guilty. I felt terrible. It kind of ruined my afternoon. Um, so... When it was time to go to bed that night, and we had our prayers, and I knelt by my bed, I silently said, please God, forgive me, I lied today, this was a terrible thing, and I, when I see her tomorrow, I'm gonna to tell her the truth. I'm gonna tell her what my name really is. So I went to bed that night, and of course the next morning, we all went back out to the beach again. And I expected to be able to tell her the truth. And she didn't come and she didn't come and she didn't come. And it turns out her family had left. They had gone home. Their vacation was over. And I had not told her the truth. And she still thinks I'm David. But that's not true, of course. And why would I be ashamed of my name? I don't think we need to be ashamed of who we are. We were each marvelously crafted in the womb by the creator and he knows who we are and he knows what we are all about and now we are christians and that's a name that we carry we needn't be afraid of that name and i'd like to challenge you as we move into the year 2021 to take that name of christian with you be not afraid be not ashamed and be happy that you can live your life and people will know you're Christians because of that name that you carry and because of the way that you live and how you speak to others. I'm going to try to do that and not be ashamed of my name anymore. Thanks for watching.